yoga is coming and so is the tournament up at Weddy Nerdigans this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's anime nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Captain Tsubasa 2018 episode 10 titled Kojiro arrives and I know I'm not the only one that has been waiting for this episode we are getting yoga I'm so I did oh my god, I can't wait to hear Hyoga's voice actor. I really can't wait for this shit. And also, the tournament's here, which gets me really hyped because I've been waiting for this fucking tournament to happen. So, yeah. Anyway, where we're starting off this week after the recap and the um, opening song is around page 7 of chapter 10. It's adaptation of the manga, so we're, get, we're getting Kojiro right off the bat. So I am down with this. I am down with getting Kojiro right off the bat. I've been waiting fucking 10, 10 weeks for this shit. I want to see my yoga. So without further ado, let's get to it. There he is! Look at him just destroying motherfuckers! Yeah! Look at yoga go! He looks so good. Oh my god, yoga looks fantastic. And I was like, okay, Wakabayashi sounds fine. But Yoga right now, I'm not liking this voice actor. Oh, Yoga! Shut! Oh! Oh, it looks so freaking beautiful. Oh, my God. I am so happy right now. Oh, my God. Yoga's shot looks fantastic. Oh, my God. I'm still iffy on the voice actor, but Yoga's shot looks freaking fantastic right now. God, I really don't like Yoga's voice actor! That is not Yoga! I am sorry, that is not Yoga to me! I don't know, like... I don't know how to describe how I pictured Yoga's voice sounding, but that is not it! So after we get, like, a little bit of practice with, uh, um, you know, Tsubasa and Misaki with Roberto, uh, we jump to the beginning of Chapter 10. Um... And you know, I don't mind um, don't mind seeing the co seeing them coaching Ishizaki, you know, the the rest of the rejects. I don't mind that shit at all uh, because it's mentioned in the manga, so that, that's okay. I I just I want to see the practice matches with with Wakabayashi and the rest of the rest of the team. We better be seeing that this week, or I'm gonna be bad. I'm sorry, I need to make a correction here. Um, where, um, the practice stuff started was, it was near the beginning. It was, like, on, um, it wasn't on, uh, like, the first, uh, two pages. It was on, uh, where I thought it was. It was, like, on page, uh, four of, uh, chapter ten. I just wanted to make, ch uh, four through five of, uh, chapter ten. I just wanted to make that uh correction and then we get to some of the practice and we get to the practice match um which is a little bit further oh uh, here it is it's right where we left off after the um in the manga it's right where we left off after the yoga content here we go so about like page 12 uh, about uh page 13 of uh chapter 10. Man, we're jumping back and forth this week. So now we're jumping back to uh, page um, 7 of chapter 10. And you know what? I'm not hating it that much. I don't... It, the thing is, is with this episode compared to, like, a lot of uh, animes, manga anime adaptations that jump back and forth, like, um, like what Platinum Vision was doing with Devil Sign, is that with this episode, the flow actually works. Um, it's flowing very smoothly. I'm... I'm very, I'm very impressed with how David Productions has gotten this episode to flow really nicely, considering all the jumping around we're doing in this chapter. Ooh, when Misaki is talking about Hyoga, I love, love that aura that's surrounding Hyoga. That is so cool. And the back, and the, uh, and the backdrop, too. Oh my god, the color scheme is so beautiful for the, for this shot. Oh my 
God, I love it. And yes, when, um, I should mention this as well. Uh, when Misaki's talking about the other, um, soccer teams, I freaking love the animation. It's, it's just beautiful. It, it is. David Productions always produces really good animation for Captain, for Captain Tsubasa and for all their projects in general. But damn, I really love this animation. <laughs> so at about the 7 minute, uh, 40 second mark with, uh, um, it, it, where are we? Uh, we are at, uh, page 16 of chapter, um, 10's adaptation. We're doing pretty damn good. You know what? I don't mind, the, like, how they're doing, how David Productions is doing this and giving us a little bit of filler in between. Um, because, uh, because what was supposed to happen was right after, you know, Wakabayashi has this conversation with, um, uh, with, the uh, uh, oh my god. With, um, with Tsubasa and, um, Ishizaki, um, after they're walking back, that's when we were supposed to see, uh, uh, Hyoga be like, Wakabayashi Genzo, genius keeper, I'll, I'll soon see what you're capable of. I wish we would have had that! Why didn't we get that? that? That's not fair! That is not fucking fair! Um... here we go um we're gonna get so okay i under now back to my original point i understand why uh david productions is going this route because um the first day of training camp is when kojiro makes uh his his first appearance uh with, you know um uh, when he first meets subasa and uh wakabayashi so i'm totally fine with the route that um david productions is going it actually works for the flow of this episode Dude, that was so cool seeing Roberto kick that fucking log. That was awesome. Oh, but there's Yoga just chilling. He's just like laying on the bench. Just fucking chilling. I love it. Yes, we got Yoga sitting on the goal. Oh my god. He looks so fucking cool just chilling up there. We got the right pose and everything too. This is nice. But god damn it, I can't stand Yoga's voice actor. This does not sound like Yoga to me. Oh, I, I wonder if, I'm curious if I'm in the minority here or not. Like, I, it, it just does not sound like yoga. That slide from Kojiro, oh my god! Oh, I'm so hyped for this tournament now! Oh my god, I'm even more, well, if I wasn't already hyped for the tournament, I am hyped now. That fucking slide was beautiful! Oh, the soundtrack! Oh my god! Can this just be yoga's theme music, please? I love it! Yes! We need this to be yoga's, yoga's, um, we just need this to be yoga's theme music. Just fucking heavy metal should be yoga's theme music, like, period. Or rock music like this. This shit is great! Yoga just, like, knocked that mofo out! That was awesome! Oh, the yoga stampede! Holy shit! Oh, that was beautifully animated! Oh my god! God, I love, I love that there was like an after image of uh, Hyoga as he's running, he's just trampling through. Oh my God, this is, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh no, that's gotta hurt. Oh, Yoga is such a douchebag and I love it. Oh, I just wish his voice actor sounded like Yoga. It's just, oh, it's just driving me nuts. I can't see and his voice actor. Oh, this is oh, we're getting the paint animation, like, right as Yoga's going up against Wakabayashi, and this aura. Ooh. Yes, yes, Yoga. Like, if only Yoga's voice was just, was perfect, then I could say he could, then I would say, like, this would be like, uh, um, uh, Minotsuji from Yamushi Pedal. That's just the only thing that's missing is the, the voice actor just does not... Suit yoga. I just, oh, I'm just trying to picture who would be a better voice actor for for yoga to have him sound like I how I pictured him in my head. It's just driving me nuts. I can't think of a good of a character right now. That oh my god. You know, I'm like part of me is thinking Daigo. What's the voice actor from uh, Daigo from uh, Major Second? Like the one that I wanted for. Um, Wakabayashi, he might actually have been a good act, a voice actor for, um, for Hyoga, but I don't know, like, I'm just trying to think of a good voice, or fuck, 
like even um the voice actor for Yuna might have been a better uh the Japanese voice actor for Yuna might have been a better voice uh actor for um for Hyoga. I'm very curious. What do you like I'm very curious if you guys like Hyoga's voice actor or like which which character did you like picture Hyoga sounding like? Just very curious. God, I love this soundtrack. It's so it's it's so 80s, 90s ish. I fucking love it. Ooh, that kick from Hyoga was beautiful. I cannot wait for that tiger shot. I cannot wait for the tiger shot to happen. It's gonna be so cool. We get Hyoga in the cover in the for the commercial break card. I but um man i love god i love the soundtrack this week oh my god the soundtrack especially like after you know wakabayashi uh they're talking about wakabayashi not being able to uh stop the goal oh my god it's so sad and depressing i dude i love it so much i think it's interesting of n now of all times that they're doing um Kojiro's uh backstory here um because I know it's late way later in the manga uh Kojiro's backstory but I guess I can understand why they want to do it um because uh you know Kojiro is just introduced so yeah I can understand why they they want to um introduce his backstory or do his backstory here it's really goddamn sad oh my god I'm kind of annoyed that they're showing this part of um sh they're, they're showing this now because um uh, where they show this in, where this scene really is in the manga is um it's near the end of the tournament um and it's when uh it's with the uh, it's when um Hyoga gets that offer to Toho so I just am I'm just a little bit annoyed that there's that David Productions is choosing to show this now instead of later when it's more impactful during uh, the tournament but whatever I'm just gonna roll with it so at about the 16 minute 34 second mark we start with um, uh, chapter uh, 11's um, adaptation of the manga uh, and I'm just hoping that, because we're at the 16 minute 34 second mark, I'm hoping that we're at least going to get to the start of the tournament today, um, or this week. Again, that's why I'm kind of annoyed that they're showing Hyoga. I don't know why David Productions felt the need to show Hyoga's backstory now, because I'm just thinking maybe it's because Hyoga's appearance, but this is his first appearance, but at the same time, it, like, I understand that, but it's just kind of, I'm kind of annoyed that they did it, because it's not going to be as impactful as it is later in the manga um or as it yeah as it is later in the manga but we'll we'll see how david productions pulls it off like they'll probably show some of this again um uh, when we get to when we get to near the end of the tournament um i'm very curious what you guys think in regards to this uh but let's see how we're doing the rest of this episode so where this dialogue is, um, the majority of this dialogue is, is about, like, page three of, uh, chapter, oh, wait, is it chapter 11? Yeah, chapter 11, adaptation of the manga. The foreshadowing of the Toho Sc Academy Scouting is so real right now! It is so fucking real! And also, this scene makes complete sense, um, now that I'm thinking about it, because if you look at, um, chapter, uh, 12 when Hyoga comes that's when uh Hyoga comes back um it, it makes it it totally fits so I understand and the more I'm thinking about I totally understand why uh David Productions put Hyoga's backstory here as well as this additional scene I'm and I I'm okay with it I'm definitely okay with it this week uh with with the um the change in the writing it, it's it's totally fine um but let's see. But at least we're getting to the tournament today. Uh, that's what I'm happy about. Ooh, this part right here, that that's right, only you can carve your own path. That's like, I know that scene is like in, I, I think it's like in the in the 30s. It's in the, yeah, it's like in chapter 30. It's in the 30s or something like that, cha uh, chapter wise. Um, where he, well, Hyoga is going to say that he uh, changes his mind about, um, carp you know, that about being a lone wolf, that's all about teamwork. So 
I, I, I'm, I'm actually fine with this. I'm, at first I was like, okay, what the fuck are you doing, Dave Productions? But I actually like this. I actually like that they're giving Hyoga more, more of Hyoga, um, uh, they're doing Hyoga's human side. <laughs> they're giving him more of a, of a human side of a, a like, uh, a, a, like you feel bad for him. I like, I kind of, you know, I kind of been going to change my mind. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change my mind about what I said earlier. Um, I actually don't mind that David Productions is going this route. Um, it, cause it kind of humanizes, um, Hyoga and it, it works for me. I, I think it's a little too soon to humanize Hyoga. Um, I think they should have waited until next, I think, yeah, I would say next week's episode. But at the, at the same time, I totally understand why they're doing it is cause, um, they're setting, this is a really good setup for next week. Um, for when Hyoga comes back uh, to Miwa. So I, I I will give you a pass on this, David Productions. I really like what, you, I actually like what you're doing here. This is nice. This is when you can use writing to your advantage. And NHK is the only other studio, I would say, besides um, besides David Productions, that's really done a great job with, uh, with the writing. I like how we're doing the combination play, David Productions. I love it. I kind of wish it was gold. That's the only thing. I wish the line, because, you know, they're supposed to be the golden combi. But other than that, I, I am liking this. I love this animation of how they're showing uh, um, Nakatsu advancing through the brackets. It's so fucking cool. I love it. We're seeing Hiyoko return this week. Okay. And this, where this is at, this is in uh, chapter 12. So we're, so next week we're going to really start in chapter 12. Um, I am down with this. I'm very happy with this. Uh, overall, this episode was, was really good. Um, I'm, I just, I, I think I just had to get used to Hyoga's voice because I don't like it right now. It just, just doesn't sound right. I don't know what it is, but this just does not sound like the Hyoga I pictured in my head. I'm very curious what you guys think of Hyoga's voice actor. What do you guys think of the change? in the writing that they, um, that David Productions chose to put Hyoga's backstory here instead of, uh, later on when we get, uh, to Toho's, con uh, you know, to Toho, uh, saying that, um, we want to recruit you. Um, I kind of feel like it should have been there, but at the same time, I kind of understand why, uh, because it sets up, it really set up, uh, Hyoga's return back to Miwa really nicely. So I'm, I'm, uh, for the most part, I'm okay with it. Um, the animation this week was beautiful as usual. Um, it didn't blow me away like last week did. Oh my God, last week's was so gorgeous. But I'm just, I'm, <sighs> there was some beautiful animation though this week. I'm not gonna lie. Like seeing Hyoga this week got me really excited for when he, uh, when he did his shots. It's just like, ooh, this could be good. It's gonna be good. Um, Trying to th the soundtrack was really good this week, um, but I'm yeah I'm this week I'm I'm satisfied with uh, with Captain Subasa. It didn't blow me away, but it, it was a good episode. Uh, very curious what you guys thought of this episode. Are you happy with the additional yoga content that we got um, this week? For, um, even though David Productions could have saved it to later. Um, I'm actually curious, I'm very curious actually, if you guys believe that David Productions is going to bring back that content later on. I actually think they will. I think they will show the Hyoga content as, um, a, right when uh, we get the Toho content. Um, the other thing is, is uh, as I said earlier, um, the content that uh, we were shown actually sets up for a lot of good, uh, for a lot of Hyoga storyline. Which is how he, you know, realizes that he needs that he needs teamwork and shit. So I'm so at this, so I'm kind of fine with this too. Um, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this episode. What you guys thought of Hyoga's voice actor? Um, uh, I actually like Takashi's voice actor. I will say this: Takashi's voice actor it is really good. It suits Takashi perfectly. It actually it sounds like the Takashi I pictured in my head. But this is this just does not sound like Hyoga to me. Um, 
I'm very curious what you guys thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below or in the Nerdy Kids Inc's Discord server. The link to that's in the description box below as well. And remember to like, comment, uh, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Kids Inc. if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, or purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.